Hello and welcome to History Buff. For this video we are looking at the unbelievable true story of Charles Joseph Coward, also known as the British Count of Auschwitz. Charles's last name was Coward, but if there's one word that could describe the British soldier of World War II, that's definitely not it. This is a story of human courage and Charles Coward is the epitome of that. The story for Charles Joseph Coward began on the 20th of January 1905 when he was born in Britain. He joined the army in June 1924 and became part of the 8th Reserve Regimental Royal Artillery. When World War II started in 1939, he was a Quartermaster Battery Sergeant Major. On the 21st of May 1940, the Germans assaulted the port of Calais in what would later be called the Siege of Calais. The siege happened at the same time as the Battle of Boulogne, before the British Expeditionary Force was evacuated through Denmark. On the 22nd of May, the British forces managed to place roadblocks outside Calais, while the French rearguard was tasked with dealing with the advancing German armoured units. The British infantry and their tanks were ordered to reinforce Boulogne in the south, but they were already too late by the time they arrived. The next day, the British were pushed back and by 24th of May, the siege started. By 25th of May, the Allies were forced to withdraw completely. The Germans attempted to convince them to surrender, but they held out, so on the 26th of May, more troops were sent to attack. However, by the afternoon of 26th of May, the French defences began to collapse and the order became every man for himself. Fortunately, many of the defenders managed to escape, but not Coward. He was captured and became a prisoner of war. Luckily, his German lessons paid off and he used this skill to try to escape multiple times. In one of his escape attempts, he posed as a German soldier. He even got himself treated in a German field hospital when he got injured. The German doctors treated his wounds and he was later awarded an iron cross for his bravery. But of course, they eventually figured it out that it was all a charade and Coward was then later returned to the POW camp. Coward continued to be a major headache to his captors, engaging in continuous acts of escape attempts and sabotage. In exasperation, the Germans sent him to Auschwitz in Poland, the site of the infamous death camp. Coward was sent to Auschwitz III in December 1943, which was a work camp five miles from the death camp. The work camp belonged to the IG Farben Corporation. He was kept at Sub E715, where he shared the area with some 1,400 other British prisoners of war. There, Coward was assigned as a Red Cross liaison officer because of his German language skills. Of course, at the time, the Germans' compliance with the Geneva Convention was spotty at best. There, he would witness with his very own eyes trainloads of Jews being transported to the extermination camp. There were approximately 10,000 Jews in the same Auschwitz camp that Coward was in. The Jews there were overworked, underfed and treated poorly. He could see them dying from exhaustion, sickness and brutality. Witnessing all of these atrocities and not doing anything to help did not sit right with Coward. So he decided at that point forward that he would help. British POWs had access to Red Cross items, so he would usually steal food and medicine along with other prisoners, and then smuggle them to other Jewish prisoners. They were also given the privilege to send letters back home, and Coward regularly sent letters to his friend Mr William Orange. However, such a person did not exist. Instead, it was just a code for the British War Office, where he would describe the horrible treatment the Jews were getting in the camps, and all the other atrocities that he witnessed. His most daring plan involved corpses and chocolates. He wanted to help the Jews, 
so he took the risk of bribing the guards with chocolates in exchange for the remains of non-Jewish POWs. They stripped the corpses of their clothes and their identity papers, and then these identity papers were then distributed among Jewish prisoners within the IG Farben farm. They were then smuggled out of the camp with the help of the Polish resistance. This stealthy mission was successful since the number of missing persons and the dead bodies would always match, so the Nazis were not suspicious at all. They kept on going with this tactic and they managed to smuggle approximately 400 Jews out of Auschwitz. Allied forces saved them during their forced march to Bavaria in 1945. For his bravery and selflessness, Coward was given the Righteous Among the Nations Award in 1963 and became known from then as the Count of Auschwitz. Thank you for watching History Buff. Please remember to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to be reminded of any future uploads from the channel.